Tragedy has hit one of the biggest metro systems in the world as a structure carrying one of its trains has collapsed. Here's what you need to know. At least 24 people have died as a result of an overpass collapsing in Mexico City, according to the New York Times. Occurring at 10.22 p.m. near the Olivo station in Mexico City Metro Line 12, the collapse sent two carriages of a passenger train crashing towards the busy roads below the overpass. The BBC notes that residents had previously reported cracks in the overpass structure after an earthquake in 2017, though transport authorities made repairs following the reports, according to Mexico's El Universal newspaper. We only heard a thunderous noise and everything started coming apart, one survivor told El Universal, according to The Guardian. We were sent flying and hit the ceiling, she said. As of this morning, at least 79 people have been hospitalized as a result of the incident, according to CNN, citing Mexican officials. Four bodies remain inside the train's carriages. At a press conference on Tuesday, Mexico City Mayor Claudia Scheinbaum said that two investigations will be launched into the collapse, one by the Attorney General and one by an external company specializing in metros and structural issues. Mexican Foreign Minister Marcelo Ebrard said that he will fully cooperate with any investigation into the incident. He was Mexico City mayor when the structure was built, according to CNN. The causes must be investigated and responsibilities defined, he said. This is the second high-profile train disaster in recent weeks, following a collision in Taiwan last month. Tragedy struck on the first day of Taiwan's tomb-sweeping holiday when dozens of people were killed in the country's worst train crash in decades. Here's what happened. 50 people died and 202 people were injured on the morning of Friday, April 2nd, when the 408 Turoko Express train, bound for Taidong County in southeastern Taiwan, struck a crane truck that had rolled onto its track near the Qingchui Tunnel in Hualien County. Taiwan Central News Agency reported that the truck is likely to have rolled down a grassy slope next to the track only 15 minutes before the collision, because an earlier train, the Cejiang Limited Express, had passed by the same track position at 9.13 a.m. and the Turoko Express was derailed at 9.28 a.m. According to the reporter, the busy train was carrying 498 people, including four train staff, when it hit the truck. With only 372 seats available for passengers, 122 people would have been standing. At the time of the crash, the train was likely to have been traveling at around 80 miles or 130 kilometers per hour. The CNA, citing data from the train security cameras, reported that the train's driver would have had only 6.9 seconds to brake as he emerged from the nearby Hurren Tunnel, only 250 meters from the truck. United Daily News' account of the collision itself describes how the train's eighth carriage hit the truck just in front of the Qingshui Tunnel, then derailed, crushing against the left side wall of the tunnel. The next three carriages were also derailed and crushed to varying degrees, and in combination, these four carriages make up almost all of the casualties. Citing the Central Disaster Response Center in Taiwan, the reporter broke down the casualties as follows. 28 people died in the eighth carriage, one died in the seventh, two in the sixth, and four in the fifth and fourth carriages. One person also died in the third carriage and other bodies were found outside the carriages. In the aftermath of the incident, thoughts have now turned to who should take responsibility for it. The truck's driver and the construction director of the six-year railway safety improvement project at a site 20 meters above where the crash occurred, Li Yisheng, issued a public apology for the incident on Sunday, and there have also been calls for a wider review of train safety in Taiwan. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.